Hello and welcome back. I'm Gayatri from Kannari Nirvana. Today I'm going to show you a delicious gluten-free and a little bit spicy, little bit savory, little bit sweet whole roasted cauliflower. You're going to love this dish. So let's get started. Right, so for this recipe I'm using whole cauliflower. You can use half of the cauliflower but I'm using whole. Four cloves of garlic and two red chilies, and I have taken the seeds out of these red chilies. I'm using some turmeric powder, some red chilli powder. You can also use red chilli flakes. I didn't have any, so I'm using red chilli powder, and I like spicy food. And uh, five cardamom pods. So these are my spices. I'm using one tablespoon of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of nigella or black onion seeds, and some assorted mixed peppercorns. So I'm using black green, red and white. You can just use black and green or black and red, whichever you have on hand. A little bit of coriander, I'm going to chop that in a minute. Good quality tahini and this is what is going to give that really delicious creaminess to it. About one cup thick yogurt. A little bit of olive oil and salt and jaggery. So Right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the heat on, on this gas and I'm going to add all these spices in there and I'm going to roast them slightly for just two to three minutes. And whilst my spices are roasting, I'm going to take this coriander, I'm just going to take some water out of that coriander, I'm going to finely chop this coriander. So the coriander, the yogurt, the garlic, chili, everything is going to give a fantastic taste to this roasted cauliflower. So we are going to use this cauliflower later, so I'm going to keep that aside. Okay, in this bowl, I am going to add this coriander. And after adding the coriander, I am going to add a little bit of salt in there. Just about half a teaspoon. A little bit of jaggery, just maybe half a teaspoon to one teaspoon, depending on how sour your yogurt is. My yogurt is quite sour, so I don't want too tangy uh, cauliflower. So I'm using about one teaspoon of the jaggery. After adding my jaggery and salt and coriander, I'm just going to add two tablespoons of tahini in there. Don't worry about the ingredients and the measurements, you can find the recipe on my website. And you can also find a similar recipe which is vegan and gluten free on my website. I will link the recipe in the description box. So I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of this tahini in there. My spices are nicely roasting here. I'm just going to turn this uh, gas off because they're going to get nicely roasted with the heat of this pan. Now I'm going to add half a cup of yogurt. And mix the yogurt and tahini together. After that half a cup is mixed, I'm going to add half a cup more because I know I'm going to need that. I'm just going to continue to whisk that till it forms nice and smooth paste. I forgot to mention one thing. You need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees centigrade which is 375 degrees Fahrenheit and we are going to roast this cauliflower for about 25 to 30 minutes. It depends on oven to oven. In my oven it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for the cauliflower to roast. But in some ovens it takes about one hour. Right, so my mixture is ready now. I'm going to keep that aside. And now comes the fun part. You take this pestle mortar out. And I'm going to add these spices in this pestle mortar. And then I'm going to start crushing these spices. I don't want to make it very uh, fine powder, I just want it like a coarse powder. When you roast the spices and when you start crushing them, you can smell the essential oils which are so delicious. Right, so this is how my spices look like right now. What I'm going to do, 
I'm going to take one teaspoon of these spices and add it to my yogurt mixture. And then I'm going to add my chilies and garlic to the spice mixture here. And my red chilli, turmeric and cardamom pods. I'm going to make a paste of this. Alright, you can make this mixture in the mixer grinder or a small blender but I find this quite satisfying. I love using my pestle mortars. All right, lovely people, my paste is ready. I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Oh, look at that. So as you can see, I haven't crushed the garlic and chilies completely. You can see the big chunks of it and that's what exactly I want. Now I'm going to put this paste in here. Just going to mix it really well. So I'm going to give you a small tip, okay? So in the pestle mortar, there's still a little bit of spices left. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add about one teaspoon of oil. I'm just going to kind of mix all of these spices, leftover spices, with the olive oil. Then I'm going to add the oil mixture in here. So this way you're not wasting anything and you're using every single bit of that spicy essential oil. Right. So now I'm going to just mix the olive oil, the tahini, the yogurt really well in there. Right, so everything is nicely mixed in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this cauliflower like this, in this bowl. I'm going to get my hands in there. Okay. Ooh, look at that. And I'm just going to kind of coat this cauliflower everywhere in every nook and cranny. Right, so my cauliflower is nicely coated with all of that marination and I'm using the same dish I used for roasting my spices and I'm going to use about one teaspoon of oil before I put the cauliflower in. I'm going to use this, these stones. Look at that ginormous cauliflower. Ooh. I'm just going to put it in this pan just kind of giving it a swirl and I'm not going to waste any of this marination what I'm going to do I'm just going to put it on top of this cauliflower so if there is anything I have missed is nicely coated now I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil on top and I'm going to pop this tray in my preheated oven for 20 to 30 minutes and then I'll show you how it looks like. Right, after roasting it for 35 minutes in the preheated oven on 180 degrees, I put it on 5 minutes under grill and this is how the roasted cauliflower looks like. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you give this whole roasted cauliflower recipe a try and if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you want this recipe and the vegan recipe you can find that on my website the link to my website and my social media is in the description box below so thanks for watching and see you again bye bye